It seems that John had cut me off not just from him, but from the whole Beatles family. The only person who came to see me was Paul. He arrived one sunny afternoon bearing a red rose and said, I'm so sorry, Sin, I don't know what's come over him. This isn't right. On the way down to see us, he had written a song for Julian. It began as Hey Jules, and later became Hey Jude, which sounded better. Ironically, John thought it was about him when he first heard it. It went on to become one of the Beatles' most successful singles ever, spending nine weeks at number one in the U.S. and two weeks in the U.K. Paul stayed for a while. He told me that John was bringing Yoko to recording sessions, which he, George, and Ringo hated. Paul had broken up with Jane Asher a couple of weeks after John had left me. I was sorry because I'd really liked Jane. In a scenario bizarrely like ours, Jane had come home a few days early from a theatre tour and had caught him in their home with another girl. Understandably, she had walked out, but that was where their story parted from ours. Paul blamed himself and was heartbroken. He joked about us getting married. How about it, Sin? And I was grateful to him for cheering me up and caring enough to come. He was the only member of the Beatles family who'd had the courage to defy John.